violin should be coming in soon. Wait for it. Well, I wanted to let everybody know that you are tuned in to, to the most classes yes. of classy yes. live broadcast that you could ever tune into. Yes. Here on the Wrestling with Class, starring the classy Carlton Easley. Yes. Golf claps, everyone. Golf claps for Carlton. Thank you. Thank you so much. And doing the production work and part of the team. Y'all please make welcome Barbara Ann Purple Haze. Yes. Golf claps for Purple Haze, everyone. Thank you. I'm your host, Big Wills Bo, and I kind of uh, guess pilot the ship here on this show, and I'm part of the team. And we're missing one of our team members tonight. Oh, unfortunately. And that is the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter. Well, there is controversy in the country club. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, everyone. Uh, the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter is not here because she is on an all-expenses-paid trip to Los Angeles, California, courtesies of my father. She's just such a hard worker. Um, she deserved a little time off, and so we figured why not send her on an all-paid vacation after, of course, we treated her to a dinner a couple days ago, which we will get to in a second. But um, Evelyn, unfortunately, could not be here tonight, but she... And you're paying for a long trip for her out there, seven days. Uh, I know, and I, I of course, am paying um, for her. He's not paying for it, his daddy is, well, but it's well deserved because, okay. what, because of you what's need, coming Are you going to have yes. to straighten her out about the dad's money? Yes. It's family money. Family money. It's okay. not only his, because we've been through the backstory before. I yes, know that yes. you know what it is. Um, it's family money. We're all very wealthy. I, I, it's not just my father. I'm not mooching, as everyone likes to That's think. That's true. You do work. You do work by father. wrestling. Uh, well, of, so yes, of course. Yes, you do. You earn it. Of I'm course. not saying you don't earn it. Of course. I'm saying she needs a break before what y'all are fixing to go through here in the future, because you guys have a booked schedule coming up. Well, and um, Evelyn just wrote me a message here. Oh, um, sorry, Evelyn. I did fix his collar for you, and I've got his water ready. And anything else I need to do, please let him know so I can get it done right. So but you train me. You're doing such a great job. I'm trying. Um, it says, sorry, cannot call in at the moment. I'm at dinner now with a few friends. Of course, we paid for her friends to go out there as well. <laughs> um, they stayed a couple of days after the Golden Globes because they knew I was coming into town and wanted to have dinner with me. Thank you so much, Mr. Easley, for the generous VIP experience I'm having at Disneyland. Oh, well, you're welcome. Amen. I'm a very giving person. You, you see, all these, all these professional wrestling fans don't understand what a great person I am. Because you have class. Well, yes. you know, we're coming into 2020, and, uh, well, we're already there. I said we're coming into it, but we're already there. Right. And starting next week is going to be just monstrous week after week for the Wrestling With Class team. Absolutely. As more importantly for Carlton Easley and... The lovely Miss Evelyn Carter. Yes. Because you will be part of the first fantastic matches here in the North Texas area with world class pro wrestling. Yes. And that organization is second to none. Jerry Bostick knows how to run his business and run that business. And what a way to kick it off right here in 2020 in Carrollton, Texas. Correct. And you guys are going to be rocking and rolling, right? Correct. Well, um, first of all, before before we get into uh, today's broadcast where we talk all things classy, as we do every week, we did take a week off. Of course, oh, now it, it was Christmas. a week. It was a week off for them. Of course, we were very busy. Um, so I would just like to welcome everybody back. We we've had a lot go on this past week, have we not? Um, they've been able to keep up with it. I I, I saw that you posted a few um, videos from this past um, week. Um, of our team meeting, of course, that we had. If you've been keeping up with us on Facebook, um, you saw that I took Bo and Purple Haze and the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter. Uh, and along with the uh, young man that is kind of, I would say, an assistant to the team, yes. uh, Graham Knox Mirabeau Carver. Yes. Who did a lot of the videography and 
and editing of some things. And one of those video clips will be coming out shortly. Mm -hmm. And that's something you're going to want to see because that is fantastic. Correct. Um, And he was sure to get a picture with the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter and I. So it was great to do that um, for him. But you saw that I I took all of them um, out to Dallas for our first team meeting of 2020. Um, We discussed business strategies. Um, well, first of all, let me just say this. I, okay. I know that you're rolling over this like it's no big deal. Wow. Like, it's... you know, like most people would think that where we went, they'd be talking about it for weeks and months. Wow. But I know for you, it's, you know, like most people just going through McDonald's. It's no big deal for you. So what, the fact that, that you're so used to these high dollar restaurants that is just commonplace. Well, but for, for us, it was a huge deal. Wow. And we you got a limousine, your private driver, Danny Fain. Correct. Fabulous person. Correct. Classy and kept the kept us safe. And you just took us to this magnificent place that I'd never been to a place like that before in all my life. Right. And just I, I don't even know how to explain it because it was so so unbelievable and we just so I'll probably be the guy talking about it for six or eight months where you've already really just forgotten about it and moving on about what we're talking about with the meeting. Right. So I'm taking it that you, um, it was a once in a lifetime experience for you. Well, I'm hoping it won't be the last once in a lifetime. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I just mean that that was the first time that you have ever, um, for seen the team. A, a little bit of glimpse into Evelyn and I's personal life. Correct. Um, and, and it wasn't just on a business relations here in the studio. Correct. Um, you went out with us personally, but again, uh, if we're going to be doing the broadcast together, um, we all need to, um, learn team, a little bit team. more about class. Well, correct. 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 Um, and you are obviously seeing the light that, uh, my way of class is the right way. And when in doubt, you go the Carlton route. Oh, the, no doubt. And so it, my it, future's so bright. I got to wear shades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bo. Oh, Joining Bo. with the Carlton Easley team was fantastic. Go ahead and give yourself some golf claps. Just really quick. Uh, and just a reminder I know it's been a week, but all of you at home that are tuning in, um, we give golf claps on this show because we do not, we do not prefer to get rowdy. Um, we prefer golf claps. But you know what? It. Your class is rubbing off, off, off on us that another show, I was trying to do golf claps and realized. You weren't there, but yet your class rubbed off on me, so RLG got golf claps. Yes, one step at a time. Yes. I'm spreading my, and that's the whole, that that is my motivation. Well, um, the difference and, is, is that through this broadcast, mm-hmm. through coming to see you wrestle, which will happen next Thursday here in North Texas, so if you're anywhere in North Texas, you need to come see the great Carlton Easley, as well as the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter, wrestling next thursday so not only do you get to see very very high class stuff here but you'll see it there so they get glimpses and things that you post on social media but we got to where we are now part of the family and i see it every day yes well um and it does have an effect correct now let me um point out some things that i didn't get to point out to last time because i was so focused on business um, I, I'd like to talk about kind of what we saw when we were out and at, at, at the restaurant. Um, when we went inside, I, I was very um, appalled at some of the clothing um, that other people were wearing in the restaurant. Very some cheap. Of the other patrons in the, in, the, in the restaurant. Very nasty clothing. Um, it made me very uncomfortable. Did it make you uncomfortable? Yes, sir. I mean, I, I know it because you were like, OMG. That's my favorite, OMG. I know, and we're going to have to fix that. You don't like (laughs) OMG? But for now, it's just not classy. Um, What phrase can I say that I can hashtag and be Purple Haze? Oh, my gosh. You want me to say it out loud? Yes, oh, my gosh. Say it. Instead of, oh, my gosh. There it is. There you go. That's classy. No, you don't need it. You don't want me to go No, we'll we'll, we'll talk off the air. We'll work on that. Awesome. Oh, well, like, totally freak me out. I mean, right on. Hey, hey, right on. Carlton Easley's number one. Well, um, (sighs) Purple Haze, they were all eating their salads. (laughs) Yes, sir. They were all, you remember you saw those people eating their salads, and what did I say? Look at these fools eating their salads new year new me yeah hashtag 
<laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hashtag it on Snapface. I'm gonna hashtag me too. And Instabook. And I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna post this picture about this salad that I'm eating. Well, First you, of all, salads for poor people. Well, you know why they were doing that, right? How is a salad for poor people when it's more expensive to eat the salad than the hamburger? Salad is for people with no money eating trees. Well, that's why they were at that fancy restaurant, but could only afford the salad. They wanted to be uh, in the uh, aroma or, or in the room of class and right. rich, but they just didn't have that. And that just when when you brought up the salad thing, it kind of reminds me of what's happening now. The fact that we're moving in, we're now, this is New Year's, New 2020, and how many people made those same resolutions they made the last 10, 15, 20 years? And what are they? I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get in shape. Oh. And I'm going to the I'm gym. I'm going to go to the gym. Yeah, New Year, New Me. It's 2020. <laughs> I'm going to get in shape. Look, I get it. I know that everybody would love to be like Carlton or the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter or people from my society, but we can't all be from my society. It's impossible. Do you know what I'm talking about? And they all they all go to the gym and and sweat and lift weights, and I'm like, Why? well, you would Just never do anything like that. Ugh! I got asked that at the restaurant. They say, oh, oh, do you work out? Do I work out? Excuse me. He was born with those looks, people. I'm not gonna go to a sweaty gym around you fat hogs and <laughs> and have to carry some towel around with me after your butt's been on a sweaty uh, 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 bicycle. Gross. I don't even go into my personal gym at home and, and lift weights because um, I complained about that to my father. I walked into a, a public gym one time um, and I thought to myself, uh, "Gross." Now it wasn't necessarily a, a, in public. I mean, it was. It was at a country club. Um, but it was gross. Um, I saw nothing but fat hogs um, in there sweating profusely. Oh, is that why you waved at me and kept on walking? Just for, excuse me? <laughs> I couldn't help I that one. I don't think you fit that bill at all. <laughs> I couldn't help that one. But you walked into the gym, you looked at me, and you turned around and you kept on walking. He wouldn't have been at that gym. You must have been somebody else. Yeah, that, that must have been somebody else. Was I mistaken? <laughs> Anyway, next. back to what I was saying. I don't go into these sweaty, nasty gyms with you people just so you can drop five pounds and gain it the next day. Well, you told me you don't even work out because you were born that way. Well, I sometimes I'll go in there in, into my private gym at home that my father uh, bought for me, and I, I will, I will uh, throw some dumbbells around a couple times. To take to pictures, kinda, right? Just to kind of look at myself and see what the good Lord gave me. And there's a great picture behind us. Wow. If uh, Purple Haze can get a close up of that. If I quit playing with his biceps, you mean? Then. Well, they're very no, nice, can you get they? close to I know. To I can't help. I'm sitting next to you and I'm playing with him. Can okay. you get to it? I guess I not. got the best vision wow. I can. Wow. Well, I'm talking about the look picture. At, look at that. Look at those. Look at those. Uh, that is what a professional wrestler is supposed to look like. So I you, can agree you, with that. You do that to just kind of, you know. Just to look at myself. Get, yeah, look at yourself. But can you flex for us, Carlton? Well, Can you show I guess guns? one day we'll have to come in here and get unclassy. See, she's getting a close up. <gasps> yes. There it is. Unclassy, yes. I'm already yes. unclassy because you got me sitting next to him, and I keep accidentally touching these. These. Well, it's hard not to, right? They are hard. But you're, 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 right. you're starting. You're starting to convert into the classy lifestyle. So I'm. I'm yeah, becoming a little more comfortable. Yeah. If I can feel those biceps and look at your physique every day and watch you run around in undies, yeah, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> undies. <laughs> They're We're, professional wrestling trunks. I think that, uh, Mr. So Mr. Easley, I think there needs to be another meeting after this show. I believe there's I going be to be another meeting. Yeah. I, have a crush no, on I don't Carlton? know about fired, but there needs to be some understanding about certain words it, like underwear. It was because of the place I took you uh, to, too, and I'm sorry. I didn't expect there to be other unclassy people. I mean, some of those people, their sweater vests, they weren't even a Brooks Brothers. <laughs> it wasn't imagine? a Brooks Brothers I brand. Know. I was laughing, remember? And you were like, "What? What are you laughing at?" And I said, "And I said, he's not even wearing a Brooks Brothers. That's probably a Walmart sweater vest. That should be a requirement, right?" Ugh, gross. Well, I yeah, I they should there check was their tag before they even walk into the, to the restaurant. I know, but you know what? No, they should check their fat count. We should take the fat meat wow. orders and put it on. They them wouldn't have well. anybody in they there. Be probably ten percent fat, like Carlton. They got to be below the ten percent average to be able to get. And in. there'd be only about maybe two people in there. Maybe only Carlton. They got to make money. No, somehow. Evelyn would have been in. 
Yeah, Carlton she would have been. I just, in. I just don't like. I, I just, I just don't see why it's necessary for me to break a sweat when I don't have to. You right? don't have to. Your That's for the is lower great. class. You're right. You're right. Lower sweat. and middle class. Just now, the, just that word. Think I about. I have to work sweat. out every day to make myself look as good as you do. Yes. Well, and I apologize for that because I know that's not classy. But I, to try to keep up with you, Carlton, I've got to work out every day. I do apologize. You were born with it. I have to work yes. for it. Well, and I'll tell you, I do play. I I played in a croquet tournament. Um, you get your work out that way, right? You remember, we had to cut dinner um, early sure. a little bit because right. I because I had to go prepare. I I needed a good night's rest for my croquet tournament the next morning, which I won. I of won course. that croquet tournament. Golf Yay. claps, everyone. Still undefeated in my country club's croquet team. So that was fantastic. Speaking but yes. of country club, okay, there was a change in the Cowboys' uh, leadership, coach leadership, this past week. And, and I understand that you ran into your neighbor, yes, Mr. Jones, yes, at the country club, and he was a little bit verklempt. He had a little, little. He he was not his really total bubbly self, but he did it. He did express to you what his plans were, and he you promised that you wouldn't say anything. Well, I'll I'll, I'll tell you. Um, and I guess I I will say it now because it's public knowledge. But a week ago, I was um in my country club, and I saw Mr. Jones um as usual, and he seemed a little flustered. He seemed a little uh, stressed, as they would say. Uh, And I said, "Uh, excuse me, Mr. Jones, but um, I can't help but notice that you seem a little off. And he said, oh, just some stuff at the office, just some business dealing. So, you know, we we try and separate business from personal, um, you know, and so we were obviously enjoying our personal time um, at the country club. Um, And he did play me in a game of croquet and all was fine. And he went back to the office. But um, I did notice he was a little flustered and I guess it. I saw it come out on the news that Jason Garrett was unfortunately let go as their uh, head coach, and so now um, they had to hire a new man to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. And so, of course, I don't keep up with that a, a, a lot. You know, I, I'm more into the croquet um, and golf. But you have to stumble into it occasionally because of the people who go to your country club. Because so. of Mr. Jones. But I don't think Mr. Jones really likes football as much as people think either. I mean, he, he, he really studies the game of croquet and golf. Well, he's worth $10 billion. So right, so he can study whatever he football's wants. Football's where he's making his money, so... Exactly. That's, he, well, he, he has a lot of other business investments too. He's in true. he's in business with my father and our company as well, actually. So well, I, and I knew that, but we didn't want to get into all that personal stuff. But still, in all, you know, we you you keep track of things that are going on in the in the high level of money status, and that's where you live. Well, you know, speaking of uh, high levels of society. Um, I don't know if you saw this, um, but I know everyone else did. I went to Gas Monkey. Um, yes, and I noticed that and vehicle I, you purchased. Yes, well, I didn't know exactly what a Gas Monkey was. Um, I, that was my exact response. I said, what is a Gas Monkey? But my father um, flew me out to Dallas um, because I was in Los Angeles um, visiting our uh, family out there. Um, I have some family that lives in the Beverly Hills area, and so um, I got on a plane, and my my father had a uh, a car that was uh, modified for my standards, and so I went over to Gas Monkey, and um, we ended up discussing business um, with with the head uh, man that was there at Gas Monkey, and I I bought my new car to add to my 2019 collection. It was actually my last one, a few days before we brung in the new year of 2020. Um, I I. You know this because you've and seen. If they it. want to see that, they can go to the Carlton Easley Facebook page. Correct. Yes. yes, they can. And scroll through some of your photos, and you'll be able to see that vehicle, which is quite, quite, extremely classy. I might add. Well, it was it was another car, another classy car to add. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Ed, again, I had a great uh, 2017 collection, 2018 collection, now 2019. I had a great year of uh, collecting cars, and I'm actually about to go pick up um, my new Mercedes um, next week. Hey, how about that? And I'm 2020, gonna, I'm assuming. Uh, yep. I'm going to add it to my 2020 model collection, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. Um, I also have a new all-white sweater vest. Of course, I never wear the same sweater vest twice. Um, I have this new one, 
and it is of course a Brooks Brothers. Um, so we can golf clap for that because it is up to code, unlike the restaurant that we took you both to, which I am sorry. That well, they were you not know, up to standard. Th- th- besides all that, that uh, that restaurant was through the roof. So you know, for us, we look forward to a lot. Of, this is going to be a great year. It's going to be a great w- year for the wrestling with class, yes. starring Carlton Easley team. Yes. Uh, with me, your host, Big Wills Bo Carver, uh, uh, Barbie and Purple Haze, and, of course, the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter. In case you just joined us, she's out in California, yes. out there hobnobbing with the Hollywoods because the f- wonderful Mr. Easley paid for her trip to go out there. Yes. So she's missing tonight, but she'll be back next Tuesday. But then starting next week, besides having another Wrestling With Class show, then we're going to get into you'll be wrestling in Carrollton in the North Texas area for world class. Yes. As long as the, with the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter, you both are going to be involved in that. We have a and, Correct. And so it's going to be a great year for all of us. We're happy to be a part of the team, mm-hmm. happy to put, be a part of world class. And it's just an exciting time coming in through this. Yes, yes. And I'm now, looking- I know, now, I know we do, not to interrupt, but I do know we have some issues out there right now going on with Iran. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know there's people out there worried about their sons that might get drafted and go have to go to the military. But do you that go will not your, happen to me. Do you, do you, you want to go ahead and explain to them? Why? Well, I'm I I know that there were people that were concerned because, of course, I'm been great at everything I've ever done, and who 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 would they want that's better than me? Of course, with me. Well, being I know they would want you. Fantastic condition. Oh no, they can't have you. It well, exactly my point. Uh, my father would my father oh, would deal with that. My father would pay for the just pay the government. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, no, so I, for, all, for all you others out there, you might be a little concerned, but Carlton Easley will off. be wrestling every week yes. without any concern yes. of the draft. That's There's correct. There's not going to be a draft. Can, Can I say golf people? claps with that? Golf claps, everyone. Carlton Easley will not no be in the draft. No need to worry. Carlton Easley will not be in the draft. He will be here spreading his excellent class. because and money to the government to keep from going. <laughs> well, of course, but, I mean, again, I, you know, Here's the thing, um, me spreading this class is great for us as a society because a lot of society is not classy. I think most. Most of society is not classy. And so um, this is really great as a whole for the United States of America when I travel all across this great U.S. of A. showing them what true class is because obviously we cannot all be on a high elite level of society and so that is ultimately my goal and my motivation and I'm doing it in one of the most unclassy venues professional wrestling but you have the classiest driver danny and he takes care of you danny, i saw that he was your number one bodyguard he, you couldn't even go in waterburger i hate to say you went in there but we had to go in there for a moment for danny, somebody else and danny took care of you danny fan is tuned in we love you danny let me tell you he something protected about him at the door and he protected him all the way through and would not let the fans follow him anywhere right Right, yeah. and there was a big debacle, which there is, yes. you know, Your everywhere driver that takes I go. Your care of you, first class. Yes, uh, Danny Fain is a fantastic man. Yes. He's a fantastic man, and he is um, one of my many limo drivers. Of course, if Danny has something come up or whatever, what am I supposed to do? Just go on a normal vehicle. But he's your main vehicle. Project. He's my main one, but I'm saying I have to have backups. Right. Of course. Because you know he's I mean? busy, your dad's busy, and he's Correct. the number one for your fleet, yes. Correct. That is very true. Um, can I talk about something? Oh, well, sure. I know I can. I know it's I can. Your show. Talk about whatever you want. I know I can. I wanted to talk today about hygiene in pro wrestling. I wanted to talk about hygiene because hygiene is very important in professional And you're not talking about the person gene. You're not saying hygiene. No. You're talking about cleanliness. No, no, <laughs> You're no. You're talking about smell. Right. I'm talking about smell. I'm talking about bacteria building up on the body. Um, not very taking disgusting. showers, not Look at that out. camera and tell them what you think about hygiene. It, there, look, there's just one thing that I didn't take into consideration when I agreed to come to professional wrestling to show everybody what true class is. 
one thing that I didn't take into consideration is the people that I would be wrestling and how they have very bad hygiene. Obviously, we talked about the um, alcoholic that I had to wrestle. Uh, obviously, Jerry Bostic um, had a stench to him, um, as well <laughs> as Fuego Del Sol um, had a stench to him, and he was dancing and moving around the ring, and I could smell him from a mile away. And, and of course, the professional wrestling fans are used to that, but I'm not. So, look. Not only before I go into the professional wrestling ring, but before I go anywhere, I would spray my fragrances on. Not me, obviously, but uh, the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter usually um, makes sure that I'm nice and, and smell good and my hair is combed. But the, these wrestlers go out there, their hair is not combed. They don't have good-looking professional wrestling attire, and they have the stench. I actually have some facts that I wanted to bring up to you, if you don't mind. Uh, because I really believe in um, factual. Well, you shower evidence. before your match as well as and data even after before, during. Mm. And, yeah. <laughs> I was say if he could and during, after. he right. would be yes. And after, so um, get this: two in five, so thirty-eight percent of people admit to not washing their hands all of the time. That's incredible. Not here. Oh, my goodness. 3% even admit to never, oh ever my goodness. washing their no, hands. No, we wash our hands. We sanitize all the friggin' time. Your microphone, your seat, your everything you sat at was sanitized before you walked in this building. Yes. Yes, sir. Section 2, we talk about urination. Okay. Uh, okay. So 2 and 3. So 62% of Americans have urinated in a shower. Oh, my Lord. And imagine going to a gym where they urinate because of the well, warm water. I don't have those problems because I don't go to the gym. But as a nurse, when you hit the warm water, it automatically <sighs> makes you urinate, dude. That is gross. Yes. Of those, one in five, so 21% do it every day. They urinate in the shower. At least they take a shower. Every day. At least they're showering, Carlton. Give him some credit. That is that is appalling to me. <laughs> Bo, do you urinate in the shower? Oh, absolutely not. We don't not. have a shower, so oh. no, with a cowboy tub, he cannot urinate. Thank goodness. Money cannot buy manners. Okay? That's Oops. one thing that, because not only do I have a lot of money, but I have manners, and money can't buy manners. So I have both. Only class. I, ha I have the best of both worlds. Well, you were trained by the top-ended servants and, and right. butlers to teach you that total class Well, that probably 95% of Americans have. The, they don't have the privilege or the opportunity to have that. But with you bringing that to the... To, to the wrestling community. Yes. If you, you know, you figure that there's no class there. Right. So if you can even just get them up to 30, 40, 50%, you've done it. Well, you know what I mean? Well, you listen, maybe stop them from peeing in the shower. Well, no. <laughs> you know, you, things like that. You listen to this, Bo Carver. 60% of those who earn less than $40,000 a year pee regularly in the shower. Forty thousand dollars? Can you live off of that? Forty thousand dollars? I I just you know I a mean, year or a well month? F well f first of all I know that that you what is so funny I what happened know. she was she was making fun of me for talking about peeing in the shower this is very serious information yeah. that I'm trying to discuss to the general public I am not on camera right now so you're good keep on going. I'm not on camera. So, anyways, but that goes to prove my point. Um, that but back to the 40000 I mean, I think you probably spent half of that taking us out to dinner the other night. Um, it had to be close. I, I really, I don't know how much that So how I does spent, anybody live on that? Money seems to never run out, but I can tell you right now that $40,000 a year, I would die. You probably spend that in a week. That's Just, insanity. Can people really live like that? Gosh. Cricket. Cricket. Can they afford a shower? Well, I mean, I, I, we're we're probably closer to understanding that than you are. 
Right. But yes, people can live on that. But I know for you, that's hard for you to understand. They got to be frugal and they got to decide that's what they're going to do. He probably doesn't even know what the word frugal means. He's never had to use that before. Mm. Correct. I've never had to use that. As having a mother who is retired, travels in a class A motor vehicle and goes to nudist resorts so she didn't have to pay for clothes. I think How does she, she know can... the definition of that so well? Speaking of Brooks Brothers. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Well, the fact that you don't have to wear any clothes. Exactly. I know <laughs> a lot of frugal <laughs> people. There's I no, really do. There's no, there's, no, Love uh, you, Ma. there's no tags on that vest. <laughs> wow. Next. That's well, pretty crazy right there, I'm huh? just saying some of these facts are just appalling, but they go to prove my point that people need to to, to keep in good hygiene. And that's where the and, and, they, and mo- a lot of those are at your wrestling matches. I know. And I can't do anything about that. Other well, than you're it. trying, though. That's why you're be- I know. And that's, and that's why, why you're I'm, part of what you're doing as a professional wrestler. Yes. Your, your interest is not really showing off your pecs and your biceps and all that. That's natural. That's just going to happen. Right. That's people, natural. It is. People are just going to biceps s- are natural. See right. that. But. Yes. And, you know, the hair, perfect, the whole nine yards. Of course. But Everything about Carlton's perfect, not just his <laughs> hair. Well, that's that's kind of what I'm getting it's at. the obvious. That, his body's perfect. But his what smile's he's, perfect. His voice is perfect. Everything about Carlton is perfect. But what he's wanting to do is that's. That, I love you, babe. That's something he already knows. But what he's wanting to do is to bring the class. Yes. To those folk. Good luck And on that. it's going to start next Thursday. That's like making everybody love Trump. That's how hard of a thing we have coming well if you us. have class you will love trump as well as you will love carlton that's the Easley. problem <laughs> those who hate trump are going to hate carlton so that's well we do know that i mean and we're going to bring them around before <laughs> we're going to bring them around by the end of the year they're going to love trump I, and they're I, love I, carlton. I think that it's it, that he doesn't care that's the whole point carlton doesn't yeah. care life either. is always going to be amazing for me it doesn't yes, matter who the president it is. is amen you know but your your life is like his. People hate you as much as they hate him. Yeah, because of the class and the yes. and status and and the all. gorgeous women you date and the life you have. They're <sighs> envious. You you're. I hate to say it, but you, they're going to hate you just as much. And that's the I'm beginning to start life. hating you with all that wonderful Bo, status. <laughs> Bo, let me tell you, uh, I just want a little hang on, and get a little piece of the crumb. You, know? you can you can date any woman you want if no, you have can. enough He's money. No, he's married. He's talking about anybody. No, I'm talking so. about myself. You can date any woman you want. Bo dates anybody, I kill him. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm on the Carlton but class. The, but, but I'm saying <laughs> if you wanted to date other women, you know what I mean? He's not going to, but I'm saying if he wanted to, if he had my oh, kind of money. Oh, he can date anybody he wants to, Carlton. I give him permission. I dare him. Can we him. ask? Hold on. I dare him. This is my show. Excuse me. Let me ask the public a question. That's a good one. Okay. And and you guys can comment down below, and uh, my interim assistant um, might Yeah, I'm sorry, get, get Evelyn, you're not me. here Yes. to control me tonight. I want to talk about affairs. <gasps> Emotional? Mm. Emotional and physical affairs. Mm. And I, I want to ask the people this. You really wanted to bring that up, didn't you? you? Because to. this was this was discussed. This was discussed... Um, at our dinner a couple of nights ago, um, I wasn't in the conversation, um, but I overheard it because I was um, busy um, dealing with things on my cellular device. We talked, you, you two talked about um, emotional affairs and physical affairs and if they were both the same, correct? As far as... Well, the, she asked the question. Or there ma- was no, a no, reason for that. No, she didn't ask the question. She I made the comment. Okay. I need yeah, to it was know. The same. And and I I really don't see that that really shouldn't be a problem. I mean if to be in front of Facebook and I'm telling this person that they're hot and they're my Bonnie and they're my other and they're we're gonna do this and that and blah blah blah. You don't think that would bother you, Bo Carver? Would that bother you it, if, it, if Purple Haze not got Not if on you're Facebook? saying Bonnie. <laughs> Maybe you say Clyde, but no, you know I, I get it, you know, but I still think there's a there's an extra an extra place. 
to, that you go to that's way past the point. Women are emotional and men are physical. So if I had a physical affair, it would hurt you. If you had an emotional affair, it would hurt me. So that's where it stands. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, enough said on that. <laughs> y'all can make a comment if you want. Well, Ladies out there, do y'all feel the same way? Do you oh, feel? Do you feel? Up our Facebook, do you please. feel that emotional? Uh, uh, an emotional Carlton, you connection open a can of worms. is as much as a physical connection in Sorry, that situation. Do y'all believe that? I'd you, like to know. People Sorry. who have affairs are terrible people. You love one person and give that person respect. Thank you, Sean. But what They're kind of affairs already. is what we're saying? Physical or emotional they're affairs? All the same. Which is worse? They're because, do you think they're all the same? Yes. Or do you think that one is worse than the other? That's what one, we want to know. I think one is worse than the other. You I think can get that the drunk emo- and have a physical affair, yeah. but I won't have an emotional affair with that person tomorrow. But yet the emotional affair will go on for months and months and months. So you're saying emotional is worse than physical. Emotional is worse than physical. Yes, sir. And Bo, would you say that physical is worse than emotional? No, uh, th- Bo agrees with me because he's the one that gave me the definition of physical. Okay, well, I'm in agreement. I guess. Well, I mean, Bo is I, I in think, agreement. I think if you go to the physical route, that you've gone and, like, you've gone down the road an extra couple miles past where you should have gone. Okay. But say you drank, you've told me before, if you've drank too much and you have a physical affair, it's all understandable because you're drunk. I don't know if I said it's understandable. I just, Maybe 10 years ago you did, it, as of today, it, it I don't know. It may not be considered a... Re- <laughs> as of Danny says, look, this well, took a left turn. <laughs> alcohol in general is not classy. Correct, so correct. if that person that you are seeing out there, if they are your... Um, An emotional affair will, la- will most likely lead to physical affairs thank you marilyn so she connects them both together so both of them are not good if you're married don't go on facebook and start having an emotional affair because you will meet them and at least a physical carlton i used to love you (laughs) and you brought this up well i'm not going to new orleans so he can meet his his bonnie well what what i'm saying is alcohol is not classy. So if you out there are with somebody, if they are your, um, what what did they say on the streets? If they are your boo or it's your, your bae. It's your beau. That's why you changed the name to Bo. Hello. Bo, because he's a boo. Well, if you're out there dating somebody who drinks unexplainably excessive amounts of alcohol. To make those mistakes. No, I married Bo. That's you, why I drink. You That's are, a problem already, isn't it? You are agreeing. <laughs> you are agreeing um, to have those problems occur because you know that they're going to go out and get drunk and cheat on you. Yes, correct. I agree with that. Now I wouldn't have that problem because who would cheat on somebody with but a lot yet, of money? But yeah, every day you wake and, up and there's a message from New Orleans from well, your first emotional of, affair, well, and if there's no alcohol involved. Is first there an of excuse? All, first of all, you don't have to worry about that anyway. I you're don't. not dating and you're smart because you you don't have I'm a single man you only have physical affairs anyway because you that's all you need oh he's very you physical. don't need an, you don't need any kind of emotional affair I, I don't need emotional I don't need physical because <laughs> physical causes diseases oh uh, that's a good point oh, diseases are a not joke classy about that. what's the joke what 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 disease can you get from an octopus uh AIDS V8 V8 because it has eight <laughs> tentacles. Oh, <laughs> good. No, does that suck? Good. Um, you high five. Forget me. Am I just. It was not a classic. That was joke. your personal joke. <clears throat> wow. I'm sorry. I thought it was classy. Wow. It's all about an octopus, Emily, not a real person. <laughs> Emily, I really hope you're enjoying your time in Los Angeles. You need to hurry up and come home and save him, please. Hurry up because there's a I'm lot out. of work that needs to be done. That unfortunately she's going to have to make up for when she comes back. She's going to have to do. She's got a lot of work to do because it's going to be, when she gets back, it's a bam, bam week. Yeah. Oh, yes, exactly. Because not only are we going to be um, right here on the uh, Carver Plus Productions Wrestling with Class show, um, spreading class, of course. We're spreading class three times next week. Uh, we will be in Dallas, well, Carrollton, Texas. North Texas. Yes. yes. And then we will be in Oklahoma. In it, Oklahoma. Yes. I believe. On Saturday, or yes. Or is it Kansas? No, in it, Oklahoma. It's in it, Oklahoma? Yes, correct. Well, that's why I have it. With World Class Pro Wrestling, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. And, and y'all can get the tickets to go see that by going to Facebook at 
World Class Pro Wrestling, or you can go to worldclassprowrestling.com. Yes. Or you can go to eventbrite.com and then search World Class Professional Wrestling and get these tickets for that Thursday night. There's different prices because there's different seating arrangements for their seating for the upper class. Yes. And then there's general admission. And then the, I believe uh, children 12 and under are, are free. free. Mm-hmm. So it's a great night. It's a family situation. You, I promise you, some of the some of the talent that's going to be there are second to none. They're 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 as good as anybody in the world. Oh well, can I stop you right there? Yes, they're second to none as far as wrestling talent, but they're not classy. But they're names that you're going to know about. Well, yes, but again. They are not as classy as Carlton. Well, that's the only person they need to come see anyway. So when you're deciding, and Miss Evelyn Carter. Yes. So when you're deciding whose T-shirt to buy, you should buy mine and Evelyn's. Now, there's not a T-shirt available right now, but by the time we get to Carrollton, you better believe there are going to be Carlton Easley T-shirts. But they can wear a sweater vest to support you, or a bow tie to I'm support you. Really, I think everybody out there um, should wear a bow tie, or an argyle sweater. Um, because not only will it look good on yourself, um, but it will um, show, show your class. support yes. and, and show class. Um, when, when you go when you go and, and look at who's all going to be there, obviously Miss Evelyn Carter and I are going to be there, uh, but you're talking about Fuego del Sol, who I already defeated, um, Dirty Andy Dalton, Dirty Tells you about everything you need to know about him, right? That kind of scares you, doesn't it, Carl? It frightens me. Do we need to bring plenty of sanitizer for you? Yes. Okay. It really frightens He's me. He's a spitter. You want to be in a bubble? What's Can that? Can you wrestle in a bubble? I Do you think I could? I think all class should be in a bubble so you don't get dirty. Like a wrestling well, condom? Well, the thing about it yes. is is that Carlton is so good and his moves are so great, I doubt he even breaks a sweat. If he's fighting Andy Dalton, well, no, I'm not I, sure about that. I, I I normally don't break a sweat. But Correct. even in the break room, you got to worry about it. You're all in the same room. You're all sweating. Well, except for Carlton, he has his own break private room. room. Yeah, I have my own. My is fa- it a break room? My what father is, bought my own. You have your own trailer? Locker room. Ooh. My father bought my own locker room. It's very nice. Just let me know. I'll yeah, so he's it. not a, he's not out there among the others. Okay, that works. I'm I feel better now. Thank has you. Has plenty of snacks in there. Protein? And plenty of waters. So how do you feel about this? It says, um, how about a... Oh, wait a minute. Where did I read this? I was going to read something. I lost it. Well, you know, I, I while Bo's finding it... How about a suit to support you? A suit? What kind of suit? Hmm. Well, he's going to have a great suit on when he comes out next Thursday. Danny Fain says he doesn't have an Argyle sweater, but can he wear a Ponder sweater? That's fine. Any sweater. Ponder has class. That's where Ponder the recruiters go to get their to get their athletes for the future. So yes, that's yes, perfect. Ponder works. Um, any kind of sweater vest, I I, I feel will work. But um, I I wanted to speak on that. A lot of you you message me or you comment on the broadcast. And these past few weeks, we haven't been able to um, reach back out to you. And I feel like we need to um, start responding to more of the uh, fans, um, you know, those, you know, because um, they tune in because they want to see class and they want to learn class. Well, but that's why they tune in, correct? So but they're wanting to learn that. That's uh, that's that's the point so that we need to teach them. the whole vision and our meeting the other day was about bringing that class to the classless. Yes. That's, that's sort of the mission. It's not about you know, having this great, you know, wrestling body. I mean, that's already there. Correct. That's already. And, you know, all the other great things that go along with Carlton Easley. Mm -hmm. It's about bringing class to the classless people that come to these matches. Right. So that's the whole point. That's the mission. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for this wrestling with class every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Share the word right here on the Carver Plus Productions live channel page. Um, and if you want to try to uh, follow Carlton Easley, go to Facebook.com slash Carlton Easley. Or on your search engine on Facebook, Carlton Easley, send him a request. He might have his recept- secretary accept you. 
Evelyn. It's possible. It's Evelyn. It's possible. They can follow me on Instagram too. Okay, where's that at? I post on Instagram. It's at wrestling underscore them underscore easily. You might want to say that one more time. At wrestling underscore them underscore easily. Easily, they probably won't know how to spell it. Oh, why don't you type it in? Yeah, we're probably going to have to type it because you know they're not going to be able to. Well, some spell. people just we'll, can't we'll, handle it. Well, we can do that on an, another post. Uh, if I had the computer, I could do it. Well, next time you can have it. So here's here's the thing: we're we're about to run out of time. Are we? Yeah, we yeah. are. We've been I'm rock and rolling. Oh that. my goodness! So, what would you like to to leave the the fans tonight with? Um, Is there anything in particular? But we've covered a lot of things tonight. Yes, we have. Um, I I would just like everyone to know um, that I have their best interest at heart in showing them what class is. Um, A lot of people say that I am classless, which is the ultimate disrespect that you could show me. But you know what? Why don't you look out there at them right right there? Right at that camera, Carlton. And and you tell them how it is. Tell them in, in your first class, classy way, what you're explaining. A lot of you out there don't view me as classy because you think that somebody that's classy doesn't tell them where they are wrong. But I'm doing you a favor. You should be cheering for me. And I know that deep down inside you all dream of being me. But they they know that they can't ever be on my elite level of society. And that's okay. Because you can still take some of the traits and things that I do and apply it to your miserable, pathetic, ugly lives. Because a lot of you out there in the professional wrestling world are ugly, you smell, and I honestly would never hang out with you in a million years. And they probably if pee I in the shower. And you, you are one of the 62% of Americans that pees in the shower. I say pees because that's the only way they can understand. The proper term is urinate. Correct. And you are all out there snorting your weed, and you're doing drugs. And you think that it's cool and hip, and you say, hey, I'm cool, I'm doing marijuana. Well, let me tell you something. Marijuana does not need to be used medically. It doesn't. That's their excuse so that they can get high. Because they have a hard time coming to the realization that they can't be on my level, and then they bash me for it. Well, I will stand up for my country club in Dallas, Texas, in Kansas, wherever I'm going, Oklahoma, California, New York City. I go all over the place, Bo Carver and Purple Haze. You know that. I go all over the place to show you what true class is because none of you have any. You're not good looking people and you're not educated. And on that terms, I'm graduating in Maybo. And so we're all going to have a and big with celebration. with honors, I might say. High with honors. honors. Well, of course. Well, that's of given. Course. They should know that without even me mentioning it. And so I just need for all of you to understand that when I come to your town, you should be standing up and applauding for me. Because I'm class. I am the American dream. The real American dream. I am the man that everybody dreams of being. And no, it's not my daddy's money. It's my money as well. It was my great granddad's, my granddad's, my dad's, and now mine. And you know what? They can see that next Thursday in North. But they're too, no, they're too close-minded. But they can come see you and see class right up front, live and in in person, by coming to the world-class professional wrestling starting next Thursday in North Texas. Go get your tickets. You will not want to miss Carlton Easley and the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter that night, that Thursday night, that kickoff to world-class professional wrestling coming to North Texas every Thursday. So go to World Class Pro Wrestling on Facebook. You can go there and even order tickets from there, or you can go to worldclassprowrestling.com or to eventbrite.com and then search World Class Professional Wrestling. And it's on next Thursday, January the 16th. January the 16th, and you will see class beyond class right up front. So what more can I say? So it's up to them. If you want to see it and you want to understand how that works, then we want to invite you. Purple Haze and I will be there. 
uh, to help support the team, the wrestling with class team. So want to invite you. So come see us. Come meet us. We'll be out there. Come uh, see Carlton Easley and the lovely Miss Evelyn Carter. And we'll be back next Thursday. Yes. I mean, excuse me, next Tuesday, right here at 7 p.m. here on the Carver Plus Production Studios with the Wrestling with Class starring Carlton Easley. Yes. Well, shall we golf clap? We shall can, we golf clap? We can golf clap. Everyone at home, golf clap with your miserable lives. With your miserable lives. It's very true. They're so close-minded, Bo. Well, sure they are. Yeah, you ain't going to be drafted, wanna... idiot. Oh. Who said that? Well, obviously, I'm not going to be. No, no one's going to be drafted, are they idiots? Well, I for sure would not be because my father would pay uh, money to make sure that that does not happen. Your child with ADD is not going to be drafted. Your child with MDD is not going to be drafted. Enjoy the music and enjoy life. Let's uh, kind of wait a minute here before we go out to... Decompress. Decompress. As we share the word, forget about the emotional so, affairs, cause the you know, affairs, and enjoy life. When you when you begin to try to teach others, there's a lot that goes into that. Any in emotions, right? Correct. And so we're here to decompress just a little bit. After Why are you touching my screen, because we're here to help you and for you to understand. That the whole purpose is to understand class from the classiest of all classes. Don't mess with my screen, Carlton dude. Easy. You and I will go one on one. I love you. I'm You're ready You're classy. For it. Yes. You have everything it takes. Just don't touch my screen. Do you want to touch it? Yes. All right. Fan out and give the love. So until next Tuesday, we want you to have a blessed week. And when in doubt, go the, go the Carlton, Carlton round. Go the Carlton round. Thank you so much, and we will see you next Tuesday. Have a great, great week.